and today we are going to work on full Urdhva Janurasana and add some tiptoes because it was requested to do so. <laughs> uh, always feel free to reach out if there's something you want to work on and let me know. So to get into a full back bend, please do warm up your body. Uh, 10 sun salutations are a simple, no thinker <laughs> fix. <laughs> and that can help you to get a little bit heated within so you can go a little deeper. We're gonna start in the back bend um, because I'm already warm. Feel free to pause me and come back to me when you are. <laughs> and we're gonna start with just bridge for just two rounds, okay? So bridge is still keeping the shoulders down and the head down. Here we go, come on down, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, upper body down. Reach, and you should be able to touch your heels. It doesn't have to be right up on your butt, just close enough that you can reach with your middle finger even here, okay? Now try and turn your toes so they're pointing forward and not out. From here, wiggle your shoulders underneath your back. Feel that connection, and then begin to lift your hips slowly. So it's important that your toes are pointed straight ahead so that your knees can point straight ahead and not out. And just begin to lift the hips up, 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 up. And lower down. And your up, 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 up might be a couple inches and that's great. Okay, wherever you need to be, honor that. Here we go again, lift. Feel the shoulders underneath you. Feel the back of your head press into the mat and push your toes forward. Now squeeze your heels back, feel the difference. Push, squeeze, push forward with the toes. Pull the heels back towards your hips and lower. And if you're working on getting into bridge, there's another tutorial that you can check out that will guide you through that. This is just our beginning. So to come into full Urdhva Dhanurasana, we're gonna place our hands by our head. Now. The tendency is for these elbows to want to go way out, to push up, but you're really losing that connection of the shoulders on your back if you go out like a chicken. So try and point your elbows generally towards the ceiling. They don't need to be straight up, tight in towards your face, just generally towards the ceiling. And then feel your shoulders go down, into the mat, down. If they're going in towards your spine, you're losing strength. If they're going straight down, your foundation is bueno. It's good like that. And then lift your hips. Lift to the top of your head. And again, draw those elbows in so they're pointing straight back behind you, straight up towards the ceiling. And draw the shoulders back onto your back. Keep that, and then maybe lift your head. If you've gotten this far, bravo or brava. Lift your heart, try and straighten your arms as much as you can, and take your heart through the arms. Take one more breath, chin to chest, as you come down, come onto the shoulders, not the top of the head. Hips down, arms down. Okay, so we're gonna add on to that. So I have my blocks here. I know for some of you, you're mighty, mighty close to that lift, but it still seems far. So you can take your blocks and use them to place your hands upon. And this is just making your arms longer. So you have a little more space. Make sure your blocks are on the lowest level and that your hands are fully upon them, not halfway somewhere. It's like a floppy handshake. That's not something anybody wants, right? You want a good, firm foundation. <laughs> hands on blocks, elbows up, lift your hips up. Maybe lift up long arms. Okay, so whether you're on your blocks or not, try coming to tiptoes and lift your heels. It's just going to take a little bit of the space out of your hips and back, but into your shoulders. You'll have more. And then lower the heels. If you walk the feet in, walk them out. Land on those shoulders, not the top of your head, and come down. Okay, we're going to do one more. I know it's tempting to turn your head if you have me to the side of you. Please don't. Don't turn your head while you're in a back bend. Just keep looking up. <laughs> and then down <laughs> because you don't want that to be part of your alignment, right? Just oh, keep your head straight. All right, here we go. Hands by your head with or without blocks, elbows straight up. 
toes point forward and are pretty near your butt. Lift your hips. Lift to the top of your head. Shoulders back. Lift to long arms. Lift your heels. And see if you can walk your feet in a little bit. Again, if you walk those feet in, walk them back out, land the heels, chin to chest, land on your shoulders, land the hips, land the arms, and you can just let your knees knock in. All right, take a few breaths here, and feel free to join me in a seat when you're ready. So like any of this practice, there's always a beginning, but the truth is, is there's really no end. <laughs> there's always more to learn and there's always more growth to be had. So give yourself that grace, knowing that there's always more. So whether or not you get up to long arms today, whether or not you can lift your heels and be on your toes today, good or not good, Bad or not bad, it's all connected. And as long as you continue to show up and do the work, you're going to make progress within yourself. So thank you for being here. Namaste.